Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you scatter plots. Of course, there is a PDF file version on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First one. A survey was conducted in the classroom to determine the relationship between the height and the weight of students. And the results were recorded below. So to draw a scatter plot for this data. So first of all, we normally use the height, that is the first row for the horizontal axis. Okay. And the vertical axis is the weight. It technically it doesn't really matter, but in general, we just use that. Okay. And we know that for the height, let me just label for the horizontal and vertical axis first. So this is the height. So that is in centimeters. And then the vertical axis is the weight. And in kilograms. And we know that for the height, so the, the smallest value is 150. And the largest is 175. So therefore, so we write zero here. So we know that the smallest value is start from 150. So we start from 150 here. So rather than start from zero all the way to 175, we will run up space for that. Okay. So what we do, we draw a zigzag here. That means there are number between zero and 150. So keep that in mind. So that's what it meant. Okay. So two four six eight ten so that is 160 i'm going up by two okay so two four six eight ten so that is 170 and two four six eight ten so that is 180 centimeters so now for the vertical axis that is the weight so the smallest value is 54 Okay, so keep that in mind. And then the largest value is 78. So we can start from 50 all the way to 80. So this is 50. And this zigzag means there are number between 0 to 50. Okay, keep that in mind. So now we just go up by 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that is 60. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that is 70. And we have two, four, six, eight. That we do seventy-eight. So that's the largest. Okay. So let's get into it. So first of all, we have one hundred and fifty-nine and fifty-nine roughly. Okay. Scatter plot. It's just roughly put all the points together so we can see the relationship between the height and the weight in this case. Okay. Keep that in mind. So one hundred fifty-nine. Is here somewhere and then we go up to 59 so just halfway between 60 and 58 so there you go and then we have 150 and 54.5 roughly okay so 54.5 and 150 so 150 here and then 54.5 so 52 54 so 54.5 it is roughly and then 164 with 62.5 so 164 to 4 and then roughly so roughly here and then we have 172 and 74.8 so just roughly almost 75 okay keep that in mind 172 and 74 first of all 70 so 70 here 72 74 so almost 75 so just roughly here so there you go and 165 64 so 165 164 here 65 halfway and then 64 so 2 4 so 60 so there you go roughly and 167 and 70 
So 168 here. So it between 166 and 68. Okay, keep that in mind. And then 70. So we just go up. So it's here. And the next one is 154 and 56. So 154 and 56. There you go. And the next one is 168 and 72. So 168 and 72 here. And the next one is 165 then 65, 165. So between 164 and 166, just here. And the next one is 175, 78. So 175 is here all the way to 78. So 78 will be here. So there you go. This is how you draw a scatter plot for bivariate data, okay? Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi there, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go to it with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into it. So first of all, for the uh, hand span, let me just write this first. Normally we use the first row or the first column, okay? But in this case, first row, okay? For the horizontal axis. So this is hand span. And it is in centimeters. And the vertical axis is the weight. And it is in kilograms. So first of all, for horizontal axis, so the smallest value we can see here is 15.8 and the largest is 18.6. So let me just write this down. So rather than write 1 all the way to um, 19, so we start from 15, okay? Because we have a zigzag here, that means I write 0 here and 15 so this means that there are number between 0 to 15 so keep that in mind just to make it easier for us of course if we have enough space we can write 0 1 2 3 all the way to 19 but in this case makes it easier so just draw a zigzag to show that there are numbers between 0 and 15 that's all and I go up by 0 0.2 so 2 4 6 8 10 so that is 16 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we have 17. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we have 18. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So 18. So now it's 19. So there you go. So we can see the smallest value for the uh, vertical axis is 52. And the largest value in this case here is not 70, is 75. So let me just start from 50. And don't forget, this zigzag means there are numbers between 0 and 50, okay? That's what that means, okay? So we don't have to write from uh, 0 all the way to 75 because we will run out of space, okay? Keep that in mind. So I go up by 2, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so that is 60. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so that is 70. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that is 80. So there you go. So now I just plot this point together. So let me just start from 15.8 and 59, okay? So 15.8 is here and then all the way to 59. So just be between 58 and 60. So there you go. So just roughly, okay? And we have 16.5 and 70. So 16.5, 2, 4, and then halfway. And all the way to 70. So we just go up, 70 here. So there you go. And we have 18 and 72. So 18, 72. So on here, so 70, 72 here. And then 
16.9 and 68. So 16.9, so it's here, and then um, 68. 16.9, 68 here. So there you go. And we have 19 and 65. So 19 is all the way to the end, and 65 is here. Two, four, and halfway. So there you go. And we have 17.1 and 60. So 17.1. So we have 17.2, so 0.1 halfway, and 60. So there you go. We have it here. And then 18.6 and 75. So 18.6, so 18.6, 2, 2, 4, 6, and then 75, so 70 here, 2, 4, and between 74 and 76. So there you go. And the next lot is 16. 56. So 16 here, 56 is all the way to 50 here, 2, 4, 6. So there you go. 17.5 and 70. So 17.5, so that is 2, 4, so halfway, and then 70. So we just go up all the way to 70. So there you go. And the last one is 16 and 52. So 16 here, 52. 50, 52. So there you go. This is how you plot scatter plots for bivariate data. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.